For a very long time, India has been called a bright spot in global economy. And why not? India has been attracting investment from all across the world for quite some time now. In fact, Indian startup ecosystem is far more healthier when compared to several others in the first world countries. But of late, investments have started slowing down in India as well. And one of the major reasons for the slowdown is investors' apprehension in exiting the ventures that they have invested in. Investors are not uh, exiting simply because they are not getting the kind of valuations that they expected. But at this point in time, it would be interesting to explore what kind of challenges are these investors facing when it comes to an exit. And in order to explore this aspect, we have our correspondent Joseph Rai with us. So Joseph, according to the reports that we have referred to, Private equity players and venture capitalists are facing major challenges when it comes to exiting the businesses that they have invested in. What kind of challenges are these and what are their problems when it comes to exiting these businesses? Exits have been a major worry in the industry and according to our VCCH data, the number of private equity exits in the April-June quarter fell to a five-year low. We saw only 40 deals in the April-June quarter and the reasons why Exits are not happening according to analysts is that and we're not getting strategic buyers enough for the startups. And obviously startups cannot go for an IPO in order to give an exit and because they are too small an entity to go for an IPO. So there's a negative sentiment in the industry as a whole because of which exits are not happening. However, there are outliers in the industry where VC firms are getting exits in from startups. Just today we got news that venture capital firm called EVC Ventures have exited micro delivery grocery startup called Milk Basket and it has made an internal return of 200%. Now PEVCs chase uh, an IIR of 20 to 30% and this 200% is a big news for the startup and the community and as a whole. So while there might be all gloom and doom uh, with regard to exits in the startup environment, with these news, this might definitely set a trend that a VC firm might just stay in a company for say a year and then and might get an exit. In fact, EVC Ventures uh, stake and are being bought in a by early stage in a venture capital firm and Bloom Ventures. And Lenovo is also making an entry with by investing in milk in a basket through its VC arm. So it's good news enough for the startup community and this might help the exit in the scenario improve going forward. So going by the patterns that we have discovered, do you think this is a phase of consolidation in investment as well, wherein investors would prefer to give huge amounts to the bigger players which already have a brand value and will probably invest a smaller share of their funds in startups and other little known players? I guess you're right. The $100 million deals and have been the saving grace enough for the PEVC community. To put things in perspective, Actually, the number of PE deals in the April-June quarter fell to a four and a half year low. The number of deals fell to 195 in the April-June quarter from 277 in the previous quarter. However, the deal value actually went up by 15% to $4.5 billion. And that itself says that 100 million deals had pushed up the deal value during the quarter. So yes, ticket sizes grew during the quarter and one deal skewed the mean deal value to an all-time high of $36 million according to our VCC Edge report. So the major deals during the quarter were SoftBank's investment in Paytm, the deal between Fairfax and ICICI Lombard and the deal between Tata Technologies and Warburg Pincus. In fact, these deals showed up the deal value during the quarter. And yes, going forward, consolidation would be the name of the game. That's what you know, the analysts are saying. And we've seen that, you know, coming in with regard you know, to the e-commerce space, though the Flipkart snap deal you know, did not happen. But what investors would look at is backing those companies that they've already been backing and increasing their valuation. In the first half of this year, we had an investment of $11.2 billion. However, the exit figures stood at $4.8 billion. Well, if government policies work well and the economy comes back on track, the businesses should be able to pick up, making business scaling far more easy and of course giving investors a way to exit. But at this point in time, the situation is grim and it would be too premature to speculate on a profitable exit for investors. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more updates on VCC TV.